Let's round 32,648 to the nearest 10. The first thing we have to do is think about what are the multiples of 10? That's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Next, let's find the digit that's in the tens place. That would be four. Now we have to think about what is the value of four. The value of four is 40, and the next consecutive multiple of 10 is 50. 48 is between 40 and 50. It is after 40 and before 50. Now we're not going to round 48, so we have to put the whole number using consecutive multiples of 10 on a number line. Here we have 32,640 and 32,650. Now we have to imagine the points on the number line so that we can place 32,648 in a location that makes sense on the number line. So here we have maybe 32,641, 32,642 is about here, 32,643, 32,644, 32,645, 32,646, 32,647, 32,648, 32,649. That means that 32,648 is farther away from 32,640 and it is closer to 32,650. 32,648 rounds to 32,650. Let's round the number again, but this time to the nearest 100. First, we need to think about the multiples of 100. Next, we need to find the digit that's in the hundreds place. That's six, and its value is 600, and the next consecutive multiple of 100 is 700. That means 648 is between 600 and 700. Now let's place the two consecutive multiples of 100 for the whole number on a number line. That's 32,600 and 32,700. The point 32,650 is between 32,600 and 32,700. If we think about 32,648, we can estimate that its location under number line would be just before 32,650. This means 32,648 is closer to and rounds to 32,600. Let's round 32,648 to the nearest thousand. These are the consecutive multiples of 1,000. The two is in the thousands place and it has a value of 2,000. The next multiple of 1,000 is 3,000. When we place them on the number line, we have 32,000 and 33,000. If we estimate the location of 32,600, it's about here. And I know that's correct because this would be about the location of 32,100, 32,200, 32,300, 32,400, 32,500, 600, 32,700, 800, 900. The point 32,648 is closer to 33,000. Let's round 32,648 to the nearest 10,000. These are the consecutive multiples of 10,000, the digit three, is in the ten thousands place and has a value of 30,000. The next consecutive multiple of 10,000 is 40,000. Now let's use those consecutive multiples to place the numbers on the number line. So here we have 30,000 and 40,000. 
Now we need to estimate the location of 32,648. I know that 35,000 is the halfway point between both consecutive multiples. So now I have to think about where would 32,648 be? So I know that the location of 32,648 is probably around here. And that means that the distance from 30,000 is shorter, it's closer than the distance from 40,000. So 32,648 rounds to 30,000.